one person does a small, something small for somebody, it doesn't have to be anything expensive. It's really just smiling when maybe you wouldn't feel like it or asking someone how they are. Um, and just being nice to people that together with other people doing the same thing really creates um, the, a, really a transformative effect in the world. And it's just like that drop of water. One may not make a difference, but one, two, three, four, a million droplets really changes the world. And that's what we're all about. Good news for you, nachgefragt. Ich bin Chrissy und in der heutigen Folge geht es um das Thema glücklich sein. Genauer, wie wir andere glücklich machen können. In den USA gibt es ein Unternehmen, das hat sich darauf spezialisiert, andere glücklich zu machen. Die Make Someone Happy Company. Ich habe mit Gründerin Gina Di Chiaro dort gesprochen. So, it's very nice that I have the chance to talk to you. You are the founder of Make Someone Happy Company. And that is a very unusual name for a company. So could you please tell me and the audience uh, what's behind Make Someone Happy? Sure, I'm happy to. <laughs> so, my, um, so the company is inspired by my late dad. His name was Carmen. And he was honestly the nicest person I think I'll ever know. He, what really stood out about my dad was that he was so full of joy always and that really spilled over to everyone he met he he really loved to make other people happy and so much so that he actually proclaimed make someone happy as his motto one day a few years before he passed away so about a year after he passed i saw this little you know make someone happy sort of sticker that we had made um, for him. And I said, you know, I've got to do something to carry on his, really his legacy. He, um, every day he, he, he got up in the morning and he just was motivated to do something nice for someone. Little things he did were, um, for example, he would tell a little joke, like a corny joke, or he would sing a little song. Um, his job was um, really helped him in this mission. He met new people every day. So what he did was he was a salesperson for a potato chip and snack company. And he drove this big yellow truck and he sold these chips and pretzels and so forth to supermarkets. And he always kept small bags of, of snacks with him, even when he wasn't working. And he just loved to give those out to people along, like whenever he maybe was in a restaurant or anywhere he, he went, he would just give these little snacks away. He also loved to, um, he had a big flowering tree in his yard and he would take the little shoots and he would put them in flower pots and give them to people. And those flowers are all over our neighborhoods now because of my dad. Um, He, when he got older, he loved to, um, well, he wasn't able to drive the truck anymore. So that was sad for him, but he was able to work in the warehouse and um, he found a way to give back even, even then. So what he did was he would call the food bank, the local food bank for when um, the snacks were not, you know, the, the date on the, on the snacks were too old to sell to the stores. And they would typically be discarded. So he called the food banks. They would come and pick, and he would donate cases and cases of snacks to the food bank or to help people who were in need and hungry and um, you know looking um, for some help. So he did that for many years. And um, so, as I said before, about a year after he passed, I I just thought this is we need to do something. You know, my dad just was such a pot, such a good soul, such a positive person let's just keep it going right and and he was so unique that i just didn't want this to die you know with him because it was so unique so we worked with a really great marketing company in boston called sprout studios and they worked with us we had we worked for about six months to explain to them who my dad was what you know what he was all about why he was you know just such a special soul and um we sent them pictures of him and worked really hard and they did such a beautiful job and they came up with this image of my father that is our logo right now with beautiful bright colors orange and blue and it's just really happy colors to you know to really um, communicate his spirit as well 
So that's that was, that was our motivation and, and inspiration for the company. We know that when one person does a small, something small for somebody, it doesn't have to be anything expensive. It's really just smiling when maybe you wouldn't feel like it or asking someone how they are um, and just being nice to people. That together with other people doing the same thing really creates um, the, a, really a transformative effect in the world and it's just like that drop of water one may not make a difference but one two three four a million droplets really changes the world and that's what we're all about yeah that sounds really like a really really nice mission like a mission you uh, that is makes sense and makes people happy literally so um your dad he did all these actions to make people happy even with the smallest gestures so what is um what do you do now with your company um how do you make someone happy we do we do different things um we started off with um finding opportunities where people needed help in the in the community and we started by um outreaching and we um my This is a family business, and we'll talk more about that, I'm sure, um, in a little bit. But my my niece and my and my sister-in-law would make um, homemade little flower pots, bring them to um, businesses in, that were going through a tough time. Um, my sister Lisa um, created these really beautiful um, customized cookies for healthcare workers at the hospital, and my niece. Um, would help deliver them. Um, we are working with Best Buddies, which is, um, they, Best Buddies, if you're not familiar, they work with people who have disabilities and they um, help to help them to enter into the workforce and pair them up with a volunteer. So uh, we, we are working with them. We have a landing page on our website for um, donations for Best Buddies. We are donating a, a part, portion of our proceeds from our product sales to them. Uh, we have um, t-shirts, we have like flyers, you know, like, like a Frisbee, yo-yos, we're coming out with more products, we have stickers, bumper stickers, and we're, we're selling all of those products through our website, but we're trying to support that we will, we are supporting Best Buddies with the percentage of those proceeds as well. Um, we are, my nephew Jacob is our, is in charge of our social media and marketing, and he's putting out posts every couple of days, depending on the situation, to you know, encourage people to do nice things for others. So we're, we're spreading the message through social, um, social media as well. We're also, it's not done yet, but we're working on a children's book to tell my dad's story so that children can be encouraged to you know, do the same, do nice things for others. And we may have like a little stuffed Carmen at some point to go along with the book. Um, so that's you know, uh, one of our plans, we're also thinking about pairing up children in schools with people in nursing homes so they can be pen pals to lift their spirits and also the children can learn from the older people, um, you know, as well. So pairing them together and having even maybe make someone happy days in schools and in hospitals. So there's a lot on the agenda. <laughs> yeah, a lot of projects in the pipeline. Yeah, for sure. So, um, yeah, how do you do all that? I mean, you mentioned it already. It's kind of a family business. So um, tell us a little bit more about that. How is working together with your family and who is involved exactly? So we are, um, everyone in the family is involved and I'm, I, I oversee everything, but we have um, my, my sister is really the day-to-day. -day. She's a backbone doing lots of the work with product, you know, the products and the communications. My nephew is the social media whiz, Jacob. Um, thank God, you know, he's keeping all the posts going uh, on a regular basis. Um, my, um, again, I mentioned Sophia and Rachel, my niece and sister-in-law, um, they're doing the outreach. My brother is a big part of the decisions that we make. Um, my husband is an attorney and my brother, brother-in-law is a, uh, accountant so they are helping us with the legal and the financial um, aspect of, of the business which I'm terrible at. <laughs> so, um, so really it's um, you know I have um, all of all of my you know my nephews and, and my nieces they're all part of it and 
uh, my brother, sister, we're all, you know, we're all just adding a little spice to the pot, right? We're all a little bit different. So, and my dad would have wanted it that way. You know, it, it, he would have wanted us all to be involved. So that's what, that's what we're doing. So how would you say has it changed you like working this way and working with this kind of mission and how, how has it also changed maybe other people around you? When you tell, well, the way it's changed me is I always keep it in the back of my mind about, you know, what would my dad be doing? Or if I'm being negative about something, you know, I need to put a little bit of a positive spin on it because that was the, that was the example that he set for us. Um, and just really looking for opportunities, keeping my eyes more open for, for opportunities and, you know, um, for you know, opportunities to help other people. I mean, again, we're not doing anything that's, we're not making big donations of money. We're not in that position to do that. But if we can, if we can outreach and send them a nice message or bring them a little something, um, do something nice, it makes a big difference. And um, so that's how it's changed me. It's, I'm, in the corporate world for, you know, my everyday full time, it's, you know, so that can be kind of hardcore. So I think it's make someone happy is my softer side for sure. <laughs> Other people, uh, whenever we tell anyone about make someone happy, we show them our logo. People, I've seen people literally, I've been with dinner, at dinner with friends who have said, oh, you know what, I, I want to buy that that person, you know, their dinner, or, you know, a stranger. I mean, it, it, you actually see it in action where people are like, wow, that's it, that's an inspiration. The world needs this right now. And especially what we've been going through with the pandemic, empathy and kindness have been the key words, right? So the timing, I think, is very good for this. And we're hoping to really transform transform the world one little one little droplet at a time so drop of water at a time or however you say it but we're we're trying to do our part it's it's not easy and we're all you know we all have a lot of things going on but we're trying to keep our focus and make our dad proud and keep his spirit alive mm -hmm. like what is your what are your plans for the future how do you see make someone happy evolve and um finally um yeah what's your dream About My dream is for everyone to know who Carmen is and to understand when they see that image, to think the thought of, wow, you know, and ins be inspired to do something nice for someone. And I, I would love to, uh, I think the children's book will really help, but I just see him as a recognizable figure or character that it will inspire others. And I, I would like to help others in a, in a more significant way. I would love to have almost like, you know, the opportunity to, if, if there's a sick child or if somebody really wants almost like a make a wish or something where it's like, wow, we can, per we have the funds to provide you with a dream or mm -hmm. some kind of a fantasy fantasy that we can fulfill a, a trip or something like that. But I think that's that's a very big dream. But in in general, I I just want to just keep spreading that message. And and if we are, you know, Carmen is a recognizable figure. We like, wow, you know what? Maybe that day they did something they wouldn't have done for some someone else. And it doesn't have to be. We're not looking to make a lot of money. I mean, of course that would be nice. But it's not about that. It's a labor of love to really let other people understand who my dad was and to and to help to, you know, to spread his message. That sounds really good. <laughs> so, um, I don't know, do you have anything to add? Anything you'd like to share with us? Well, we, we, we're, you know, we're, um, we we're talking to several companies about partnering. And one of them is the potato chip company that we, my dad worked for for over 50 years. And they, they may be doing something at some point to co-brand or do a limited, um, you know, a limited edition, maybe you snack uh, bag or something, but co corporate social responsibility is, is really important these days where companies who are, you know, successful and, uh, you know, are, are making lots of, you know, revenue and money and they're like, they want to give back and they want to do, make sure that their company has that aspect and that, that um, also that, um, personality of wow you know we, we're we're so successful but we also you know we want to do a, something for our employees something for the community and uh, I think 
that the most successful companies understand that that it's very important to incorporate that into um, it, into their everyday and into their their mission. Uh, I I think that. Uh, we will continue to reach out to companies to maybe um, work with them to maybe have a make someone happy day in their offices when people maybe start getting back to work. So we are interested in, in you know, in, in connecting with other companies and we're, we're open to that. But um, overall, we just want to just make people aware of the transformative effects that we can all have by just doing, doing a, a little bit every day to help others. <laughs> that sounds like a really, really good um, last word <laughs> to yeah, our interview. That, um, well, I don't know if it's too late to say this, but it's not only doing for others, but when you do something nice for others, and I saw this in my dad, that when you do something, it makes you feel good, right? So I saw my dad, his energy level would go higher and higher, and he would be more and more joyful as he did this these things for people. So it's not just, you know, And I'm, it's not, I'm not saying, saying it's to be, for us to be selfish, but it's like, you know what, it's, it's good for others and it's good for you. Um, so I think that it's, it's that effect that really can just skyrocket after a little bit of time. Yeah, so Gina, thank you very much for uh, taking the time and telling us um, the story behind Make Someone Happy. I wish you all the best for the future and I hope we can stay in touch Thank you so much for the other. reaching out to us and they keep up the great, beautiful work that you're doing in your company. We're, we're honored to be connected together. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Take care and have a good day. You too. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> Wenn ihr mehr über Make Someone Happy erfahren wollt, dann klickt doch einfach auf den Link in unserer Beschreibung. Und falls ihr mehr Good News sehen und hören wollt, dann lasst doch ein Abo für den Kanal da und so erfahrt ihr immer, was es bei uns Neues gibt. Euch noch einen schönen Tag, bis zum nächsten Mal. Ciao. Mehr Good News gibt's auf www.goodnewsforyou.de.